Hello, I am Gary Brantner of Rent Art Studios Comics, and this is my review show where I talk about the comics I've read, the comics I've backed on Kickstarter, where you can back them, and where you can find the comics I've read, all that fun stuff. Um, I am going to start off with uh, talking about my shirt. Uh, as you can see, it clearly says something that might offend some people. If it offends you, I am sorry. I had recently had an issue with it at work where it offended people I was working with, so I had to turn it inside out, even though where I work, I uh, have, uh, keep, have uh, breast cancer awareness banners hanging all over the hallways and uh, mirror windows and all that. So anyway, this shirt is from keepabreast.org. Um, they just hit their 20th birthday uh, anniversary of when they were created, and uh, Keep Abreast dot org is a breast cancer awareness site it's this the purchase of this shirt went to uh, breast cancer research which it's actually uh, very very close to me because um, my wife's mother just died this year in 2020 from uh, breast cancer and if people are offended by breast cancer then they can just go to hell I don't care um, sorry if I offend you but this is how it is. So, now that that's out of the way, uh, let me talk about some comic books that uh, that I have read recently. Okay, so on that note, let's see here. I am going to talk about one that I read digitally, and it is called Broken Bear. Broken Bear I read on my phone. Um, Broken Bear is by Frankie White, Adam Mark... Marka Wicks and colored by AHG. The logo is by DC Hopkins, edited by Andrea Lorenzo Molinari, and the cover is by Adam Markowitz and Oh man. Menani Darling. Did I miswrite that? I can't remember. Okay, so let's get on to it. Oh, Melanie. Why did I have that in the end? Melanie Darling. Sorry about that. Here's the credits page. Um, so yeah, story by Frankie White, Adam Markowitz, colors by AHG, logo by DC Hopkins. That is a cool logo. And, fly. Edited by Andrea Lorenzo Molinari. And the cover is by... Adam Markowitz and Melanie Darling. Darling, huh? Uh, makes me think of uh, Wendy Darling. Wonder if there's any relation. Anyway, so I like this story a lot, as you can see from the art. Um, the art is very reminiscent. It made me think of uh, my favorite artist, John Romita Jr. And it uh, it kind of looks like Lee Weeks, stuff like that. Um, that's really cool. It, there was a a swamp monster with a lure that looked like a human. You can see him on there. Really cool stuff. So anyway, Broken Bear is about a, there is a girl and uh, her name is Selm. And she is following a knight into a swamp. And uh, so this knight, he has a big bear uh, for a helmet. Not your typical knight in armor kind of helmet. And so this is in the times of knights that go out on quests, saving damsels in distress and all that fun stuff. And uh, and so they go to this cabin, and by the end of it, Selm leaves alone with the armor, um, and the knight is no longer with us. And the story continues on where she, she uh, ends with all the strength of the knight that was with her. She's kind of the ward of that knight. She's just a, a young girl, uh, and this knight took her in as a as a ward and a page. Basically, he she carried around his stuff, loaded the horse, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, so she ends this witch's place with uh, the powers, the strength of the knight and his armor. And she immediately has to fight this uh, this monster from the swamp that had a human lure, lo human looking lure. A lot of cool stuff and like I said uh, the art makes me think of Lee Weeks 
and John Romita Jr., who I, I mean, I am a huge fan of John Romita Jr. And uh, yeah, the story's awesome. She goes, she goes off, and while she's on, at this little camp, these uh, troll-looking guys come up, and uh, it's a, a male and a female troll. They're and they're with a whole caravan of other trolls. They kind of, they just look like humans, but they're green and they have uh, big green ears. Basically, nothing too spectacular. And uh, she sees them as no threat, but then these weird monster wolf things come out of the woods to attack them all. And she saves these trolls. And uh, so they, they take her to this market, and she offended someone somehow. And a lot of things go on. And it basically. Uh, she she wants to be a hero, but she is not very good at being a hero. She keeps messing up, and then when it counts, she she uh, bolts out of there before the heroing, the saving even happens sometimes. So it's it's an interesting story. My little taste of it spurred me into uh, I contacted the uh, the uh, creator uh, Frankie White, and I said, dude. Uh, send me a link. I, I want to get more of this if there's a hard copy or a Kickstarter going on. And he sent me an Amazon link to his page where he sells his books. So I can't wait to get that. I'm excited about it. Uh, I love the art and the story was amazing. The coloring, I, it's got a grainy texture that makes it, it's very good for uh, the book, the kind of book it is because it happens in old and kind of dark ages times. So it's going to be an awesome read. I can't wait to read the uh, full textile version of it instead of just uh, the digital sample on my uh, phone. So that is out of the way. That was my first review. My second review, uh, it came with stickers. And these are uh, characters, um, oh man, I can't remember her name now. And uh, Cinder is the main character, I think. And uh, Meryl, I think, is the other character. Mer Meryl has white hair, and Cinder is the uh, brown-haired girl. Uh, well, they're actually elves. And um, so these stickers are going to go on something. Probably, I have so many things I put stickers on. Anyway, this book is definitely not for kids. Um, this book is called I Roved Out. This is Volume 2. I was not able to get the hard copy of Volume 1. It's not a safe for kids book. In fact, there's only a few pages I could show you. This is from Alex Fl Alexis Flower. And, oh man, Alexis Flower does some amazing art. Uh, very cool. Uh, it's all digital. I have no idea how to do that kind of digital work. That's our uh, character Cinder. So I Roved Out is basically a uh, R-rated troll or R-rated elf book where they, it seems like they're always doing it like getting it on and stuff uh, but it's entertaining it's very beautiful very well done and amazing artwork and it is it is a funny story so yeah I get a kick out of it there's some good artwork check that out um, I got this on iRovedOut.com you can read it digitally there or you could buy the hard book. Uh, I wish I would have been able to get on sooner to get volume one, but I got this version, so I'm happy with it. Someday, hopefully, he'll do a reprint of uh, volume, one, volume one so I could get that and complete my series. Uh, as, hopefully, I can complete it before volume two comes out because these are not cheap, um, but they are worth it. So yeah, I'm hoping to get be able to get volume one or a reprint or something. Maybe he'll do a Kickstarter for a reprint. That would be awesome. So if you're listening to this right now, Alexis Flower, do a reprint. I will back it. I will try and get and yeah, you could even do a new cover, sell it as a different thing. The reprint that'd be awesome. So I roved out. Check it out on irovedout.com. Good stuff. This is In Search of Truth and Love. So now we are on to the mailbox side. Mailbox, mailbox, what did I get in my mailbox? Well, I got in my vote. 
So I'm going to be filling that out soon. I got that in the mail. My wife also got hers. Um, it's complicated because we are not on the same page politically. So that's going to be fun voting. And I got in uh, Ghost. Let me see here. Get it right. Goth Ghost Girl number three came came with a lot of prints, a lot of cool prints. Um, so Goth Ghost Girl, these prints are going to be going up on my wall in my Rent Arb Studios office. Here's the book itself. It's going in my read pile. Can't wait to uh, read Goth Ghost Girl number three. Oh yeah, and look at this, more stickers. So yeah, awesome. I even got a cool guitar pick. It says Goth Ghost Girl on it. So awesome guitar pick. I will be giving that to my daughter. She actually plays guitar. I don't. And I got the uh, shirt. This is from Imminent Hour. It is the fictitious, uh, fictional, fictitious band of uh, the main character of Goth Ghost Girl. So it's pretty cool. It's got the uh, tour dates or the cities that the people play in on it. It's pretty cool. I thought it was awesome. Um, so yeah, Imminent Hour shirt I got in the mail. That's pretty cool. I will be wearing that sometime soon. What else I got is, uh, this is from uh, Jimmy Palmiotti's uh, Kickstarter he just recently ran from called Pop Kill Volume or Issue 1 and 2. So I can't wait to read these. It's about a um, soda pop industry world where they're the richest people in the world and they hire, they're Siamese brothers and they want to kill each other. So they hire hitmen to go kill each other. So that's cool stuff. I can't wait to read that. Going in the read pile along with Goth Ghost Girl. And uh, let's see, on my phone here, I will show you something interesting. Oh, dang it. Somebody messaged me and that got in the way. So, ah, uh, stinking message. I entered a giveaway that I saw on Twitter and uh, it happened to be the last hour of the giveaway and here I am entering it and I won. It was for a uh, Deadbeats comic, stickers, and a t-shirt and I won and it's already here. Holy crap. That was like so soon since. So I've got a uh, Maybe Someday sticker which is pretty cool because I have a Maybe Someday book on the way to me sooner or later. Can't wait to get that and put it in my read pile. So Maybe Someday sticker, a Dead Beats sticker which is a Kickstarter I wanted to back but didn't have the money at the time, and a Wave Blue World. That's who sent it to me. Um, a Wave Blue World sticker. So there's more stickers. I got the Dead Beats comic. I think this is volume one. I don't know if there are more than one volume. But this is Dead Beats anthology. It is a bunch of different stories about rocking and uh, store music. And I got a purple Dead Beats shirt. So yeah, I love purple. That's going to be awesome to add to my closet. So that's it, that's it for my um, mailbox ep part of the episode. And uh, now we're on to... Oh yeah, and speaking of mailbox, here's some mini comics of Peter Pan the Vampire that I make, and uh, these are gonna. Uh, this is going to be going out to Charlie Stigney, creator of White Ash and the Game. So uh, I know you're still waiting for it, but it's going to be sent to you. Things have been ha going on, a lot of family stuff and uh, with work and COVID, all this crazy stuff. It took a while to get them printed and. This one is going out to Kevin Joseph. Kevin Joseph uh, makes Tarte comics, um, one of my favorites now, since I uh, start, got the first issue and now I've got the trade in my read pile. And so yeah, two of my favorite creators backed my project to get my pins. Um, let's see, I've got one right here. And uh, one of the um, bonuses on this pin was that I had a mini comic that every backer was going to get so sorry about that everybody else already got yours but Kevin Joseph and Charlie Sidney yours are coming soon 
Thank you for backing my pins. Um, I'm going. I need to put these on Etsy so everybody can buy them. These are the cards that I use to notify everybody that I was running a Kickstarter. I just cut off the notice, the Kickstarter stuff, and now it's an awesome thing for the pins. Let me put that up there. All right. Now I'm on to the Kickstarter part. This is where I talk about everything you can back, everything I've backed. A lot of things on Kickstarter right now that you should know about. So let's start with She at, at the Tower is on Indiegogo right now. It is from La Ryan K. Lindsay and Chris Panda, Comics Tribe comic. It's the one with the uh, really cool die cut cover and it has the helmet cut into it so that you open it and it's got uh, the hole in it and the face shield on vellum paper and all that stuff. Really good story about a hit girl they're a mercenary that goes from planet to planet and stuff. Check that one out. It's on Indiegogo. And uh, Miskatonic High meets Lovecraft. P.I. It's a crossover. And it's on Kickstarter until November 5th. Miskatonic High is one of my favorites. So, uh, of course, I backed it. And it introduced me to Lovecraft P.I., which I did see on Kickstarter a while ago. Didn't back it, but... Now I went and bought the uh, two trades that he has on Etsy. So if you're interested in getting those two trades, you could get them with this uh, Kickstarter right now. Or you could just wait until... Uh, yeah, you could get them, get his PIs with the Miskatonic High, and you can get all the Miskatonic Highs in the same bundle, huge bundle of comics right now. Um, Wild Cosmos 3 is by Curtis Clow. It's on Kickstarter until October 16th. Oh shoot, that one's passed. Dang. Um, Wild Cosmos number three is gone, but I will be reading that soon. Uh, actually, I have re Co Wild Cosmos 2 in my read pile, so check that one out. Um, let's see, what else? That one's ended. Shoot, I needed to go through these. Jason Brubaker's Phobos is on Kickstarter right now for a glow-in-the-dark hardcover. And uh, it's on on uh, Kickstarter till October 30th, so I've backed that one. Check it out. Um, Tilt number three is on Kickstarter till October 29th. Tilt is a comic about a hero that he's kind of homeless, and uh, he's going after the people that turned him into a hero. So it's kind of cool that way. Um, a lot of cool stuff going on in that comic. Check it out before October 29th. It is from Catalyst Comics. And Chronicles of Horror by Seer Nova Comics is an anthology. It's a 16-page comic from, on uh, Kickstarter till Halloween. And check that one out. Uh, Seer Nova Comics, they, they do a really good thing for the indie scene. And uh, they're even making a site where you can download. You can go there and subscribe and download to comic some comics on there. Peter Pan the Vampire from me is going up there pretty soon. So I will let you know when that is on Seer Nova Comics. So check out Chronicles of Horror on Kickstarter right now till October 31st. And back it. And then you can be in on the uh, Seer Nova uh, trail. Vetita Awakening is on Indiegogo. It is by Marcel Dupree. Uh, one of the people behind the Morgan Le Fay comics that I read. Uh, Le Fay, actually, it's about a private investigator, kind of like uh, J Jessica Jones style, but she's Morgan Le Fay, the famous uh, witch. So, uh, yeah, Vetita Awakening, I'm not really sure what it's about right now. Um, I think it's a demon slayer, and uh, so it looked interesting. It's not for kids, but uh, sometimes I read things that are not for kids because I'm open-minded about that. After the Gold Rush is from Miles Greb and a bunch of other creators. Miles Greb is the one I initially saw it posted on uh, Twitter from, so I checked it out and backed it. it. It's actually one I was interested in in the single issues, but I just couldn't afford it. But now it's in trade. After the Gold Rush trade is on Kickstarter until November 1st. Check that one out. November 1st is when it ends. The Stake presents Jessamy number one. And uh, 
obviously the stake is a vampire story and where I write a Peter Pan vampire comic myself I am into a lot of vampire stuff so I checked out the stake one it is a black and white comic with red here and there other colors mixed in once in a while but it was some really cool art really cool story and it's about a world where vampires were forced to come out on social media somebody outed them on YouTube or something like that and so the stake presents Jessamy is going back in time to tell a prologue story I think about it um, so check that one out before November 12th uh, it's good stuff good art and now we're on to Frenemies Lost Planet that one is on Kickstarter until the middle of November so you have some time on that one Frenemies is about a bunch of kids they're into role playing in that they get stuck on a lost planet and uh, they have to find their way home and survive the planet so check that one out that one sounds good Starlight number two it's one that I backed they did a Kickstarter for Starlight number two it failed but now they're back they're trying harder they're uh, doing a lot of gimmicks and a lot of fun challenges and stuff check out uh, Starlight number two Travis Webb and uh, Brett Weld Waddell and Greg Smith they're uh, they're all doing ki Starlight number two um, I think it's already funded so if you go and back it right now you're going to get it Starlight number one was an awesome read about um, some kids that were they were heroes when they were children and then when they grew up they got out of the spotlight let other heroes step in and so but uh, while they were out of the spotlight they kinda got discovered by a youtuber and he uh, was about to out them when some aliens showed up and kidnapped their mom so they ended up chasing these aliens into space to rescue their mom and that's where I'm gonna find them in issue two is to find out what happens in space so that's cool um, Super Scouts number three is on Kickstarter that's the final issue it's a three issue storyline of these characters it's like um it's like a Power Ranger thing uh, they were in a TV show and then they find out from their sensei that hey it wasn't just a TV show you weren't just pretending this is these it's actually based on real stuff you gotta stop this real evil coming and uh, it's pretty cool I like I like that story it made me think of uh, that um, Galaxy Quest so I thought oh, I'll, I'll check it out really cool artwork on that one really cool storyline uh, so yeah Super Scouts number three on t Kickstarter till November 4th why did I write done on that and uh, oh that was probably for render waves colorpedia that one's done oops I wrote done on the wrong one XCT infinity number one is on oh shoot that one's done too ah. <laughs> okay wow I should have prepared a little bit before pushing record vampire bloodlines is on Kickstarter until October 24th that is from uh, Bridge Bridgeport Chronicles they've got some really cool stuff going on there uh, they got some cosplay covers that look really cool and uh, obviously it's a vampire story so I'm into it um, so check out Vampire Bloodlines on Kickstarter right now Against the World is on Kickstarter till uh, October 27th oh that's my daughter's birthday so uh, I better check that one out Against the World it's from uh, Evoluzu Evoluizion. Somebody's gonna have to send me a pronunciation on that. Evoluizion. Uh oh. Shoot. Well, I gotta wrap this up. It's time to go get my boy from school. So check out Against the World on Kickstarter right now. And uh, yeah. Okay. Where was I? Against the World is on on till October 27th. Check it out. Nightmare One Reloaded is on there till Halloween night, so check that one out. Urban Animal is a new one I just backed. Uh, Urban Animal Volume One is it, it's a webtoon comic that they're getting printed, so check that one out. And uh, I'll tell you more about it later because I'll have more time. It's on there till November 18th, so do check that one out. Oh, and Future. Future the comic is on uh, Kickstarter. Check that one out too. 
you have some time, so I'll tell you about that one more in the next episodes. But Future the Comic and what was that? Urban Animal are on Kickstarter brand new now. So check those out. Uh, that's about all I, all I can tell you. Um, support breast cancer awareness. Don't be offended by boobies. Uh, and have a good time. Be safe. See you next time.